This gentleman is very typical of what I most commonly see in patients with gynecomastia. He's 31 years old. His weight has fluctuated a bit, but right now he's very fit. He's working out a lot. He's eating as well as he can eat. But no matter what he does, he still has an issue with his chest being disproportionate to the rest of his body. So if you turn a little bit this way, this view is really the best view where you see he, he deserves to have a different shape than this. There's almost a little bit of a breast-like shape to it. And when you turn in profile this way is another way to see this side. And I'm showing you the left side because it's a little bigger. You can just see clearly that he's got a nice body, but this sticks out more. It points out farther from the body. And there's even a slight breast-like shape to it. Some men have puffiness there, but there's a very strongly masculine look to it. But there's a little bit of a feminine look to this, which makes this patient all the more anxious to get the surgery done. Why does it bother him? He doesn't want to take his shirt off at the beach. He doesn't want to wear a tight or clingy shirt. So what our plan is, is to start with liposuction. Because for this man, for the most part, what we have here is a soft, spongy kind of tissue, which is fat, and that comes off very well with liposuction. Deep to it, in this area, I can feel a little bit of a firmer area. Liposuction doesn't remove the firm, glandular kind of tissue that most men have. So after we've done some liposuction, we'll make a little incision from about 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock, and we'll remove, by cutting it out, this little bit of firm tissue. Then we'll go back and probably do a little more liposuction just to smooth out and make everything nice and straight. So the scar he ends up with is a little one over here, and then we'll hide a little scar either over here or over here, depending upon where I'll get the best access, which I won't know till he lays on the table. So this is an, an analysis of a very typical gynecomastia patient.